Charlie and Lola Look After Your Planet by Lauren Child Please subscribe, like and watch until the end where a surprise is waiting for you. Thank you. I have this little sister, Lola. She's small and very funny. Lola loves keeping things, all kinds of things. Boxes, old broken toys, just things. Not anymore, says Lola. I say, has it got anything to do with when we went to Marv's house? And Lola says, mm, maybe. Yesterday, Marv said, I dare anyone to go into my big brother Marty's room. He doesn't let anyone touch any of his things. And he won't throw anything away. Mom says his room looks like a complete pixie. I say, he can't be that bad. When we sneak into Marty's bedroom, Lola says, Oh, it's Pongy. But then we hear, Get out of my room, now. And Marv shouts, Run. So you see, Charlie, I do not ever, never want my room to look like Marty's. So I am throwing everything away because I do not need it. Why don't you recycle it? And Lola said, Bicycle it? No, recycle it. Recycle it? What is that? says Lola. Well, it's a way that people can reuse old things in a different and newish way. Why? says Lola. Because if we throw everything away, then we'll be all completely buried under a massive, huge pile of rubbish. And if we don't use things again, in the end, we'll just run out of everything. Did you know there are these places where they make new paper out of old paper? The old paper gets squished up with water and things, and then they press it all flat. Then they make all sorts of new types of paper, like toilet paper, writing paper, wrapping paper, and coloring in paper. Egg boxes. That is clever, says Lola. Later, Lola says, Look, Charlie, Mum bought me this special comic. It's called Look After Your Planet. And there's lots about recycling in it. And I say, Oh, a competition. You can win a tree, all of your own to plant. What do we have to do, says Lola. We have to collect a hundred of each thing. One hundred tin cans. One hundred plastic things. And one hundred things made out of paper. That's a lot of things, says Lola. Look, Lola, your very own tree counter. Every time you collect something to recycle, you can stick a leaf onto a branch. When your tree counter is completely full up, you can get your very own real tree to plant. Lola says, I would love to plant a tree. Well, you'd better start recycling. And Lola says, OK, Charlie. This box is for all the plastic things. And this one is for tin cans. 
and this one is for paper. And I have already recycled two plastic things, a baked bean tin and some paper. I say, I am not sure we will be able to collect a hundred of each thing in just two weeks, Lola, all on our own. And Lola says, of course we can, Charlie. Have you finished? Good. Later, Lola says, see, Charlie, I can recycle these toilet rolls. And I say, the idea is to use the paper really slowly and not waste it, so we don't have to cut down lots of trees. Then you recycle the rolls. The next day at school, Lola says, we have to save the trees and stop us being covered in a big, large pile of rubbish. If we fill this tree with leaves, we'll win our very own real tree for the school. Everyone is excited and says, I want to do recycling, pass it on. I want to do recycling, pass it on. I want to do recycling, pass it on. So everyone at school starts recycling. Look how many I've got. I've got lots too. You are a very good recycler, Lotta. Oh, Morton, you are not helping. So Morton goes home. And he finds more things to recycle. When everything is recycled, Lola says, Oh no, we have not filled up the whole tree, so we will not be getting our own real tree. But then Morton comes along. Lotta says, look at what he's got. And soon we have filled up the tree counter. Thank you, Morton, says Lola. You are a very good recycler. Then Marv whispers to Morton, Where did you get all that? And Morton says, Marty's bedroom. Marv says, You are going to be in such big trouble. The next day, we all go outside to plant our real, actual school tree. Look, our very own real school tree, says Lola. We are extremely very good recyclers, aren't we? Later, when we are all round at Marv's, suddenly we hear, Who's been in my room? Let's get out of here, says Marv. And Morton says, quick, run for it. Enjoy my new series, Oliver and Chumpy. 19 video books with about 500 pictures. There's text, but I also read it aloud for the younger children. I have written 65 stories and had them illustrated at great cost for your children's fun. Oliver is an elegant tomcat and Chumpy is his lady friend. Oliver loves to ride in Chumpy's pouch when they go for adventures together. Please find a link to the first book in the description of this video. Please always subscribe and like if you find my effort interesting. Thank you so much.